How to create a group on Signal for iPad. This Signal is one of the best messaging apps around. It uses the same end-to-end -end encryption protocol and it safeguards your privacy. Signal Group is built on the top of the new private group system technology. The Signal service has no record of your group membership, group titles, group avatars or group attributes. New group features include invite via a group link or QR code, mention, admin controls to remove a member from the group, admin controls of who can edit group info and the disappearing messages timer. Optional admin approval for member joining by a group link. To start or create a group on Signal for iPad, do the following steps. In Signal, tap Compose button. Tap New Group. Select the contact you want to add to the group. Please note, if you want first to create a group and to do all settings, you can skip this step and add the member later. Tap on the Next button or the Skip button. Write the name of the group. You can also add the photo of the group if you want directly here. Tap on Photo Library or Camera. Select the photo. Tap on Done. Tap Create. The group has been created. In the group you can do the same action as you also do in one conversation. You can send messages, images, video and even record audio messages. If you tap on the plus sign, you will be able to send a picture from the camera, a GIF file, a file, contact and location. You also see the latest images. If you tap on the camera button, you will be able to send an image made live. Tap on the microphone to send an audio message like this. If you tap on the profile icon, you will get to the settings page. Here, you will have all the main group settings. You can change the name and the picture of the group here with the edit button from the top. Here, you can see all media and search the chat. Disappearing messages will make so a message sent and seen will disappear from the group. That is a very nice feature. You can set up how much time you want on this option. You can mute notification or do custom notification for your group. On mentions, you can set up if you will receive a notification when somebody mentions you in the conversation. On the Add Members option, you can set up who can add new people to the group. If the group is open, you can leave all members, but if it is a closed group, it is better to put only admins. On Edit Group Info, I suggest to set up so only admins can edit the group's info. On Members Request and Invites, you will see all pending members and also invites that have not been accepted yet. Here, you can enable or disable the group link. On the bottom, you will see a part of the member list and an option to block the groups or leave the group. If you tap on one of the members, you will be able to make it a group admin or remove it from the group. This is how you actually create a group and manage it on your iPad. If this was useful, please like, share and subscribe. You can also watch more videos from the right. Also, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments area below.